one of the ways of addressing some of the concerns is allowing the branches to own the party and partake in the election of their leaders. Yeah. Tim Alabi believes that to strengthen all structures of the party and to build a very strong party for election 2020, the grassroots, represented by the branch executive, should be deeply involved in selecting the flag bearer for the party. <laughs> the grassroots, as we say, they are the king makers of the party. Yeah. The euphoria that characterized the involvement in deciding who becomes the flag bearer seems overwhelming in all the constituency we have visited so far. We take the opportunity to thank Congress and the Consultative Constitutional Review Committee of which I'm privileged to have been part of for crafting Article 42, 1G, which allows branch executives both elected and co-opted to exercise their franchise in the election of the presidential candidate for the party. Indeed, the branch executives are the key makers and must be recognized as such. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, let me take the opportunity to bring you up to speed on the NDC constitution in relation to the presidential primary. Article 42.1 G of the Constitution captures the composition of the Electoral College for the election of the presidential candidate as follows. The first one is that every party branch executive member elected or co-opted, every constituency executive committee member co-opted and elected, every regional executive committee member elected or co-opted. And it goes on with members of parliament, it goes on presidential staffers, former ministers, and it's a tall list. The above constitutional provision has brought joy and inner satisfaction to the members of the party. And this is an observation from our discussion and the talk that we've gone at the constituency with the branches our interactions with various constituencies and branches, the fact, attest to this fact. And we, Tim Alabi, we share in this joy. Nothing, and absolutely nothing, should be made to deprive, to deprive the grassroots of this right to vote. <laughs> 